And we're live. Uh, good evening. Hope, oh, evening. Afternoon. Um, I hope everyone's having a good festival. Uh, sick virtual craft festival. Uh, I think it's my fourth. Um, let's bring in uh, the earworms. So we have Kes from Spirit and Bear. Hi. And Wayne the Wood Jedi. And I believe Dale is going to be joining us at some point as well. So what are we doing? Um, obviously... I'm still recovering um, from my speak with sepsis and stuff, so I need to do simple projects. But what we're going to do is we're going to do some Bernie Bernie of sorts, and we're going to make a little oil lamp. Um, these are kits that you can buy from Axminster. Um, just little glass oil lamps. These have got citronella in. Um, I don't know what anyone else is like, but when you sit in the garden of an evening, I get tend to get eaten. So that's what they're for. Right. Pop you guys back in the background. We'll go over to the lathe. There we go. So on the lathe, I've already rounded down. We've got a piece of U. It's about four inches in diameter. Um, we're going to start off with putting a 38 mil hole this end just to take the burner so while i'm doing that you guys can let me know who's in Grand. okay so at the moment we've got wood wizardry by colin here we've got lawrence in win of the big feats is in probably with valerie as well um cracking first show wayne um rich rich the beard is in um jp's in hi jp long time dies in Mark the Gentleman Wood Turner's in. Chris Dodds. Robert Dolman. Eric Winkler, Roger Mills. Amy's in. Hi, Amy. She's probably finished all our cake by now. Wivy Woodshed's in. Steve Fleming, CJ Hobbies, Terry Bartlett. Uh, I think A little that's bit about more. It for now. Fantastic! Thank you, everyone, for coming over. Hope you're all having a good day. Thank you very much to Jamie and Carl and Dale for putting it on again. Michael McEwen's just come in. Karen Dolman's in. Yeah, Amy's seeing the cake's nearly gone. The kids have shoveled it in like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, I bet you had nothing. To, I bet you didn't have any, did you, Amy? Nah. That's what kids do with cake, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> well, I meant to save us some. Door yeah. 60's in. Hi, Door. Oh, let's see. I can't remember. I did Terry earlier on. Yeah, we do it. Stuart's in. That's Stuart Ingruil. Is in. Hi, Stuart. Who's that? Actually, where's. I'm going to use my new um, my new bit that Mr. Wayne of the Big Feeties made me. You, you knew Hing me. Um, the new... Yeah. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> the thing we jig. Yeah, the thing we jig next to the thing we bob and the Ujima flip and that thing. <laughs> What's him call it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Right. Um, so I've got the dust extraction on. Those that have turned you before will know how dusty it can be. This is really dry. Um, and also, you don't really want to get the dust in your lungs. So I'm going to go for a sphere-type shape. Again, shape is entirely up to you. Um, 
I'm not brilliant at doing spheres freehand. So I've got a really expensive bit of kit and it's called a bit of cardboard. <laughs> so what I do, what I do is I will draw around the bit and then that will give me the sizes I want. So I'm just going to put some lines on here. Rough center. Scott, if you cut that cardboard, you know, the um, the, the straight edge. Yeah. If, if you cut it so it's a point, it actually fits into the um, into where you start making the big bead for the sphere. It'll actually fit in there. Uh, yeah. Cheers, Wayne. There we go. Right. So, I'm just going to put a little cut in here because this is where we're going to take some down. Just for a bead on the top of the sphere. So I don't know those that saw my t-shirt at the beginning. Um, but I have oh, just put some... Huh? I've just put some new merchandise up on my Teesprings. So pinned at the top is a link to that if people want to have a look. I have to make sure you give the twirl when you finish. Sorry? You have to make sure you yeah, with your t-shirt. I, I will. The missus saw it and laughed. Because it says, in my defence, they left me unsupervised. <laughs> and the just for turning this is in. Andy, good afternoon. With the centre line, we want to leave that there um, and work away from that. And then we can use the template. So I'm just going to, again, clear some of this. Are you having a, a foot on this? Uh, Scott. No, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a flat on the bottom of the uh, sphere, mate. Just take a right, little bit okay. off. Um, the one I did this morning, um, I put a little bit of foot on, but that started off this size blank, and as you can see, got smaller and smaller. Now, I have got a sphere jig um, that I brought off eBay. Is that, is that like the one that I've got? Uh, I don't know. I'll grab it out. But after lots of practice and lots of playing with it, I still can't get the hang of it. Yeah, it's probably the one I've got then. <laughs> Cost about 70 quid. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. <laughs> but there are better ones out there on the market, aren't there? No. Oh, definitely. Simon Hope sells one of the, the better ones. Wood Wizardry by Colin. Scott, will you be modelling the leggings? The leggings? No. So... <laughs> There are some leggings and bits on there um, that say you've got this. Yeah. They're not wood turning related. Uh, my missus is an avid runner. Yeah. 
Uh, and her and her lady running groups, that's their little motto between them. You've got this. So, yes, the leggings are for them. They're not for... Still a nice positive vibe, though. You won't catch me in a pair of pink running leggings. <laughs> Unless he's out in Brighton on a Friday night. <laughs> we challenge him. I suppose we could do it like a Mark did with a tutu. Eric is asking, Scott, is that a swept black spindle gouge? Yes. Is that Eric Winkler? It is. Yes. Eric, did you get my email, mate? Um, apologies. Eric won my 500 subscriber giveaway. And where I haven't been well, it took a little while to get the bowl in the post. But that went off the other day for you. He said, yes, yes, thank you. Cool. Now we look him. I'll lose some more of this bottom bit. James created metal work on Jordan. Mr. Mewick, good afternoon. Obviously not working. We've got 55 in at the moment, Scott. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. With 20 likes. Come on, guys, hit the thumbs up for Scott. There is the link in the description for me buy me a coffee if you really like what I'm doing. I was just about to say that, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> that will keep me going in lattes. And Dave's <laughs> on a lunch break. No, I don't want to go too thin at that point yet. What I do want to do is start thinking about here. Hi, Colin says, so when are you getting your new lathe, Scott? Uh, I'm... Probably looking about another two in a bit months. I've record power very kindly put two hundred quid on the price of it. Um, so when I last looked, I started saving. It was sixteen hundred. It's now eighteen hundred. Um, so a little bit more saving to do. Take that bit down there, down. So this is just a flat carbide, just get some timber out of the way. Right, I've just had a, um, a message from, from Mark. The gentleman would turn up with a, a little bit of bad news. Uh, Robbo Robinson's in uh, hospital at the moment. Oh. He's, uh, he's got a collapsed lung. That's not good. Oh, we're sending best wishes to Robbo. Charlie Taylor's just come in. Afternoon. Right, where's that high tech tool? You've got a bit of a hump on the, your left hand side on that. Or well, here? Yeah. Yeah. It's a question well, for you good. there, Warren. Yeah. This is the smaller one. <coughs> 
Right, Eric saying Wayne yesterday he was trying to turn a spot with the maple vase and using the rough gouge and the bull gouge and no matter which direction he went, there was so much tear out and big chips from it. Um, without actually seeing the piece of wood, I would imagine that it was um, gone a bit too far, let's say. The, the wood, probably a little bit too much rot in there to get a, a decent cut on it. How are we doing on time? We are at a uh, quarter past, just gone. Oh, loads of time. Wood wizardry by Collins with Matt Green Pattern. We might get a couple done. Oh, sorry, come on. We might get a couple done then. Hmm. Don't forget to uh, give Scott a thumbs up and a subscribe and hit that bell if you like what he does. Um, he's also got Teespring link in his description to his merchandise and his wife's merchandise. Um, and he's and it's also office. and it's also pinned to the the top of the chat as well. The link Is to it? his um, yeah yeah. So check out the pin. Uh, next up at two o'clock is Owl's Hack Shack. Mm. Lots of get well soons for Robbo in the chat. Nice big knotted there, nice bit of character. Looks good, Scott. Cheers, wooden things is in, and he said, um, basically, the, the docs, the, the doctors have fixed Robo's lung, but he needs to spend spend a couple of days in hospital. Yeah. Adam, um, Robo's had a collapsed lung. Trying to finesse the top a bit. Steve Fleming's in. Hi, Steve. All right. Charlie's asking if you're going to hollow it out, Scott. No, so this is just going to have uh, a little glass bottle in it. Uh, let me grab one. We've got time. Actually, let's grab an empty one and then you... <laughs> so it's just going to have one of these little glass bottles, um, which fits in the end here. I've got a little bit of um, more hollowing in there because it needs to be 38 mil. But I've only got a sharp 35mm force in a bit. Um, so that will go in there. I'm glad you asked that. Let's just swap cameras so you can see the other end. Hopefully I haven't knocked that too much. And we'll do that with the side of that. There's, there's not a lot to come out here. We don't want a French fit, but we don't want it too tight. What we want to do is allow a little bit of room. So if the wood moves, it doesn't crack the glass. I 
Now, I know that this wood's really dry. Um, it's been sat in Keith's garden for I don't know how long. So you see you use these outside, Scott? Yeah. Right. You don't think, have to. I think you can get well, no... Although... Sorry, go ahead, although it's been air dried sitting in Keith's garden, although it's been air dried sitting in Keith's garden, you will get changes in movement yeah. due to different humidity levels. Yeah. Now, you, if you want, you can buy normal lamp oil um, and use them indoors. The decorative one I did with the Joe Sonia's paint this morning. Um, my good lady wife saw that, and yeah, I don't think that's going to be going up for sale. Miss T's wood turner has joined us. Miss T's in. Hi, Miss T. Once she's been putting some blanks. <sighs> I'm trying to work out where I'm going to cut it off. And you have something to go back to work. Yeah, yeah, it's about time you did some work, Dave. About time <laughs> you did some welding. Season Glenn's good. in. Hiya, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Right. So I'm just using the toe of the skew here just to mark where I'm going to cut it off. Right, so that was 120. Terry Hoop is seeing his back after his lunch. Hi, right, Terry. Do you know, Wayne, I still can't find Drilly's cousin. I reckon he's gone on holiday you know? somewhere. No. <laughs> been doing anything in the house have you no the only thing i can think of yep. is i did You'll a little down at I, no i didn't take it to wendy's but i did do a little electrical job in storrington for a turner and um, that's got muscular dystrophy yeah. so to make his workshop more accessible for him so i'm wondering if i've left it there Charlie's asking if you can change the camera angle, please. Yes. Sorry. And Steve Fleming wants to know. And uh, Steve is. Sorry, Wayne. <laughs> uh, what sandpaper am I using? Oh, you're fine. You're fine. So, <laughs> this is uh, Rhino Grip Plus. Um, it's the white stuff. It's got a Velcro type background. Um, we sell it at a club. Um, which is why I use it. Um, but if you want to get some of this, Keith uh, from Circular Wood is now also stocking it. Uh, he sells it in meter lengths. Uh, I think it's 180 a length. Purely because, like everything else, it's all going up at the moment. And Chris Dodds is asking about Drilly's cousin. Did yep. it fall down your dust collector? 
<laughs> oh, nah. Joanne's in. Only blue. Your lovely wife is in. Oh, look, my lovely wife. Looking lovely. I know I look lovely, darling. <laughs> Checking up on me. Alright. Alright. That's 180. So we're now going to go. Okay, Joanne. Joanne, he hasn't started on the biscuits yet. <laughs> oh, you say biscuits, Wayne. Do you know what we were talking about the other night in uh, the hangout? The pink wafers. The oh, pink yeah. Found, yeah, pink panther wafers. I found some in Asda this morning. <gasps> Brilliant. So you can moan at me later for eating too many biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a piece of Abronet. Um I had a slight technical issue with one of my cameras before I started. And the 240 drawer, the other stuff's got gaff tape on it holding the camera up. <laughs> gaff tape's great for everything, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Got a problem? Sort it out of gaff tape. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm only going to go as far as 240. Yeah, if it moves, use gaff tape. If it oh, look, got a little hole in there now. Yeah. Got a little hole in there now. Bit of a feature. So we're going to clean it um, with methylated spirits or if you're in the States, denatured alcohol. This just cleans all the sawdust, the fine bits that are in the grain and the pores, you know. And it gives you a better chance of getting a a more superior finish on it. Uh, it's a technique that I learned off Martin uh, Hampshire Sheen. Got fifty nine watching, Scott. Thank you, Terry Hooper. Seeing Scott, you should try the pink and whites at Tesco's. They're the ones with the marshmallows in the middle, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of them because it is the, ma the marshmallow. The wafers taste like cardboard, too. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're just going to use the chestnut uh, cellulose sanding sealer. that mixture. I love it when you get a natural feature in a piece of wood. That just, gives it, just gives it character, doesn't it? It looks like an owl's face. An owl's face? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it. look, two eyes. Yeah. That's because I'm a twit. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong with that. So we're going to uh, use a good old Yorkshire Grit original. Just I'll have another couple of seconds to flash off. While we're doing that, let's um just wipe the excess off with a paper towel, Scott. Yeah, I will. I'm just gonna come back and do a bit of a model. So this is one of the t shirts. Um in my defence they left me unsupervised and then on the back um it's got my logo available in lots of different colours. Um there are lots of different designs on there. Your mum likes my bowls. Uh, um, woodwork, woodwork Learner is asking, does the, the cellulose sand and sealer smell? It does, but not... I wouldn't say it lasts that long. Let's go back to the right camera. Um, I just prefer it in the can. Um, you don't make a mess. You don't get sticky fingers. Um, and it's easier to apply. Especially when you have natural bits you can get in there. Um, now I've got the pre-finned um, Hampshire Sheen. I've got 
Uh, who makes it? I think it's Myland's, like a shellac one. Um, there's lots of different sand and cedars out there you can try and use. Amy says, Scott, you're a hoot. Uh huh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and the owl jokes are coming. <laughs> So as Wayne said earlier on his life, um, he normally starts at 250. The slowest this goes is 500. Um, so we're working it in with the cloth we applied it with. And Glim recommends to get the best from the product. About three minutes you need to work it in. Didn't you say earlier, Wayne, that you can actually use that on flat work? Yes. It's what you, what you do, Kez, is you you know the um, the buffing pads that you can get for random orbit um, sanders. Yeah. 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 Use use the buffing pad and use the Yorkshire grit with with the buffing pad on the random orbit sander. Yeah, that sounds good, especially for like uh, paragraphy work and stuff like that, because you, you take it down quite a lot. Yeah. And the grits and stuff. Uh -huh. Interesting to know. I can already see it starting to uh, shine, which is lovely. You is one of my favourite woods. What's the time, mate? You're a tough past. Just gone. Cool. We'll just do one. The reason why Woodwork Learner was asking about the smell is that he's got a very small workshop. Yeah. It'd be alright in a small workshop. Um, just, you know. Have you got because window you open the window use, too, or? Yeah, you, you don't actually use a lot anyway. No. no. If you've got a window, you can have the window open. During the summer, I've always got the workshop door open. So that's about three minutes. So what I do now is I get a clean bit of towel. I turn up the speed slightly. And then we're just going to look for the towel to come off clean. Once it's come off clean, we know the product's done its job. And there's no residue left behind. See that question for you, Kez? Yeah, just spotted it. My YouTube channel is Spirit and Bear. There isn't really a great deal on it there, must admit. Uh, Kez, just say something in the uh, chat for a minute. Say again, sorry? Just put a comment in the chat for a minute. Okay, hang on. There you go. There you go. You can now put a link to your channel in the chat. Thank you. You expect me to know how? <laughs> <laughs> There's a man <laughs> sat beside you that knows how, though. He wasn't. He disappeared to go and pick the eldest one up from school, from work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. If not, I'll um, give us a... Oh, just a second, I'll do it. I'll get Wayne to put it in. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Oh, when are you using firm... 
eye products, it's like you just you're closing down one app to open another app and you kind of disappear out of one thing. So you know it's just oh trying to get hints. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna brush the excess out of that crevice. Then we're going to put on yeah. This is just chestnuts uh, microcrystalline wax. Uh, it's my normal go-to wax. There's lots of other waxes out there, um, but I prefer the microcrystalline. It's a little bit more moisture resistant. Ooh, hang on. Find it, on there. Um, it doesn't show fingerprints as much when bits are handled. But to get the best result from it, what you need to do is put it on and then just give it a couple of minutes for all the solvents and stuff to dry off. And remember to put the lid back on when you finished applying it. There we go. So bring the speed of the lathe up. And we're not putting much pressure on, we're just letting touch in the paper. Otherwise, all the wax you put on, you're just going to take off. Are you going to say something, Wayne? No. Eric's just leaving. Oh, I found it. I found it. I've got it in my. Thing See you later. Cheers for coming in. I've got the link. I just don't know where to put it. It's all right. I've I've, I've got it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'm a firm believer that we should be supporting each other. So, if you're not subscribed to anyone in the chat, go over, check out their channels, give them some love, give them some support. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. There's the link to Kez's channel. Thank you. All right. Tell you what, the maker community has got to be the friendliest community I know. Do you know, when I was in hospital, the amount of people from the makers community that were messaging me, it was more than my family. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. So the maker community is the best community I've ever come across. Doug Miller's popped in for a minute. He says it's looking oh, good. Yeah, Scott, he can't stay alone because he's packing up to go home from vacation. Mm. Been anywhere nice, Doug? He's been down in Florida. Oh, nice. Um, I can't remember where Doug comes from now, but well, he's in the States, but I can't remember where he lives now. Um, I've forgotten. Is Amy's asking, what is your favourite finish to use, Scott? My favourite? It depends on what I'm doing. Um... As I said, my go-to wax, if I'm doing a wax, is um, microcrystalline. Uh, if I'm doing an oil finish, um, I tend to go for chestnuts lemon oil. <coughs> Doug's from Kentucky. Right. So that bit can come off and go in the Bernie Bernie bin. And Joanne is saying that she's got to go now to find some space for the new creation. <laughs> <laughs> Do I believe this is going to the summer house, darling? Or is the uh, pretty coloured one going to the summer house? Both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is just a scrap bit of wood. Um, and in there I've glued an arbour. Uh, CJ's. CJ's. Oh, sorry, Wayne. No, it's okay. You carry on. <laughs> What's your favourite rescue story? 
My favourite rescue story. Uh, there's loads. There's loads. Um, I did one not that long ago. Um, a group of female walkers, not that far from Dale, actually. We were told it was at a pub. Two and a half miles later, we eventually get the patient. And then we look like heroes because we had to get the heart team out and uh, rescue us. Because <laughs> we weren't walking back that far. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, there's loads of stories. Um, it's one of the reasons I love my job. Not for the stories, um, but every day is different. And I can go home at the end of the day knowing I've made a difference to someone. Even if it's just a little old lady that's fallen over. Don't see people that often. I've made her a cup of tea or had a chat. And yeah. Every it day. Makes it, it makes a big difference in their lives though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just to stop with for five, ten minutes and, you know, do something like that. Some people are going, oh, why'd you do that? Well, why not? Why not? It's not part of our job, and. Yeah. Right, let's but, come yeah, back. That, to you this know, you're that extra mile for somebody. You've just made somebody's day. Mm. Yep. Right, let's bring you guys back on. Just while I put a bit of polish on the bottom. A polish, a bit of wax on the bottom. And then we'll do some Bernie Bernie. I love this piece. Now let's put that in there without spilling the oil. Find a lighter. And there we go. With respect to. That's pretty cool. I'm going to blow it out because to get closer to the camera, it has to get closer to the ceiling. But. Fire to it. Yeah, stunning bit of grain. Pretty cool. As you say, it looks like an owl. It does look an owl. Yeah, that's cool. She owl like. <laughs> She's just got to decide which one she likes best. Both of them. <laughs> there we go. You know it's going to happen. <laughs> there we go. So, as I said, if anyone's interested in any merch, it's pinned up at the top. Um. Thank you, Kez, for coming in and worming. Thank you, Wayne. You're welcome. Up You're next welcome. is uh, Owls from Owls Hack Shack. Um, if you're on the Virtually Crafty link, that will take you straight there. If not, uh, go down in my description, uh, and the link to the next one is there. I um, hope you have a good day. I'm going to finish there a little bit earlier. You can um, pop off, use facilities, make yourself a cup of tea. Um and enjoy the rest of the day, people. Bye for Thank now. <laughs> Cheers.